hi friends if you look at this candidate you will see the mucous membrane and the tongue region and the central part of the body is quite pink in color but you will see the peripheral part like the fingers and the palm there is a bluish discoloration so this condition is known as cyanosis and it's present in the peripheral region so it's known as the peripheral cyanosis sometime this may be a normal thing it may be due to the vasoconstriction and in the peripheral sinuses mostly when pho2 is measured it comes to be the normal sometime it may be due to the some serious causes like the congenital heart disease or the sino or sepsis may be the reason and here in the same candidate you can see one more clinical condition is known as caput succedaneum what happens that during the child birth when the child when the head is coming out from the cervix and cervix is just constricting the head then the cervix is acting like a tourniquet so this is what causing the swelling in the region the fluid gets collected fluid get collected just below the skin above epicranial aponeurosis so this sometime what happened the molding of bones also takes place the suture line that means uh, in the head shape distorts as here you can see but it usually resolves it comes to the normal within few days you should observe them and it's a normal condition and there is no need to worry if this happen but the observation must be there the contour of the head will come to normal after few days so this is how the caput succedaneum looks like so friends thank you for giving your available time